Hello everybody, Claudia Boleyn here, and welcome to my Feminist Thought of the Week. Today's Feminist Thought video is titled, Turning the Tables. I'm talking about that scary thing that anti-feminist men do when they say that you don't want equality, you just want to turn the table. You must spend a lot of time talking to lots and lots of anti-feminists in order to come up with a logical conclusion. And what I mean lots and lots of anti-feminists, I mean none whatsoever. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. And that's especially scary because in that statement, they're basically admitting that they know at the moment the system is wrong. Well, clearly there is something wrong with the system. However, I have the feeling that what you think is wrong with the system is not the same thing on what we're thinking that is wrong with the system that it's unequal, that men are privileged over women, and that women are having a really shitty time, and other genders are having a really shitty time, although, you know, a lot of those people probably wouldn't acknowledge other genders. And everyone, say it with me now! Three, two, one! HOLY FUCK IS, is THIS WRONG? WRONG? Let me give you a good set of examples on how men are not privileged over women. Men are more likely to die at their jobs than women. When it comes to divorce courts, the woman almost always wins. And on the rare case of the father gains custody of, for the child, guess what? He is not going to get as much money as that of a woman. Women get 40% less in prison time than that of men for the exact same crime. And that's just a few examples. Um, but they're acknowledging the inequality, and their, their problem is not that there's inequality, and that loads of us have, have an absolutely shitty time within this patriarchal system. You are possibly one of the most privileged classes of all time, and you're going to lecture me on how you're STILL FUCKING OPPRESSED! Somehow you managed to find a way to SOMEHOW show that anti-feminists know the inequalities of what women are facing in the first world even though we continue to show on how women are equal to men. You shoved your head so fucking far into your own ass you can hear the fucking ocean! Not once have you ever gotten off your high horse and actually talked to anti-feminists, have you? You just make a statement and everyone just nod their heads into agreement without question! Oh no, their issue is, what if one day we switched the system round so that women were at the top and men were at the bottom? Even though we constantly continue to show you that you are equal to men, check your own fucking privilege! What sort of a selfish concern is that? Like, never mind that there are people right now that are going through shit because of the patriarchy. Oh, you poor miserable, privileged, middle-class girl. You must deal with the fact that many people see you as a human being. Oh, the horror. Let me just show you a little bit more evidence that women have it a little bit better than men. Men are more likely to be seen as pedophiles than women. And when a woman does in fact molest a child, there will be feminists defending the pedophile, going as far as to say it was the child that raped the woman, not the other way around. There is still a debate on whether or not a woman can rape a man because the term first penetrate does not seem to come in mind when it comes to feminists like yourself. Feminists would go as far as to say that the person enjoyed the sex, therefore she did not rape him. If anything, she was being raped. If a man gets accused of rape, his entire life will go to hell. Women like yourself would demand his head on a silver platter, going as far as to vandalize and try to ruin this man's life. And when he gets judged to be innocent, by the time that is over, feminists like yourself would justify your own actions by stating it was a great way to spread the word. In other words, you couldn't give any more fucks about the man's life that you just ruined. And here's this clip right here. Come here. Get your hand off me. Come here. What? Where were you? No. I'm not talking to you. I'm Come not here. talking to you. Get your hand off me. Come. Who was there? Get your hand off me. Who was there? Tell me who was there. Well, People are looking at us. People, 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 people are looking at us. Get your hand off me. Stop their looking. People are looking at us. What's wrong with you? 
Oh, okay, we're fine. Grant, I'm Grant, thanks. Okay, can someone call the police if you carry on doing okay. that to someone? Okay. Because if, if I don't, someone else will. Okay, Tracy, okay. stop it. Oh, just, you're crazy, man. manic. I've been talking at you for the last ten minutes you and you haven't listened. You haven't got an into fucking what I've been saying to you. But you're fucking not even listening to me, that's what? Why do I push you like that? Because you won't fucking respond to me if any of you won't listen to me. You think you're fucking ever going to manly? I wasn't No, you can't be. No, you can't be. Don't try and fucking walk away. Stop. Listen to me when I'm talking. Don't try and fucking walk away from me! Stop it! Just so long as it's not you, eh, guys? Really, though, I see a lot of anti-feminist men, and a lot of men in general, getting really worried about feminism because they say it's misandry and it's man-hating and it's, um, it's wanting to subjugate men and put men in the system where women are now, and... It really is scary because they are afraid of that happening. They're frightened of it happening. The thought, the very thought of the system turning, of the tables turning, so that women are on the top and men are on the bottom, it makes them angry. It makes them scared. And after all the evidence that we provided so far, could you really blame us? And yet they can't comprehend why we have a problem with the system as it is. No scratch that, they can comprehend why we have a problem. They just literally don't care. Bullshit! Just to set the record straight, we feminists don't want to turn the tables. We want to bash those current rubbish tables up with a bat and replace them with far more comfortable, accessible furniture for all. Say, Claudia, when are you going to get off your high horse and actually talk about something that's actually logical? Like male genital mutilation. Against their own will. We're not here to switch roles within the patriarchy, therefore creating a matriarchy. We want to get rid of a system which privileges one gender over all the others. And we should totally believe you because you, as a woman, have a very, very shitty life. Proven fact. So the message of this video is to be very, very careful of men who want to call you evil because you apparently want to substitute the male gender's superiority for the superiority of the female gender. They are admitting they see a problem, but they are also admitting that they don't care so long as they benefit from it and we suffer. Oh, Claudia, 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 when are you going to get off your fucking high horse and actually talk to anti-feminists rather than coming up with these stupid straw man arguments? Food for thought there. Anyway, get smashing those tables. I love you loads and I'll see you soon. Bye!